Well, with spring vegetables rolling out of the southeast and onions and apples coming from the west coast, one company is uniquely positioned to see how COVID-19 is impacting the produce world this spring. Southeast Produce Weekly's Chip Carter has this update. The l and Companies is headquartered in North Carolina, but they've got farms in nine U.S. states and three countries. I talked with Bobby Creel about the impact COVID-19 has had on their national and global operations. Well, COVID-19 uh, has had a tremendous effect on uh, fresh produce. Uh, it, it's been challenging to say the least with all the stay at home restrictions and the huge uh, demand spikes in, in retail business and then the severe downturn in the food service business. Uh, and uh, we are thankful for our retail partner support. We really are. Uh, and we're praying for and looking forward to being able to support our food service and wholesale customers when their business comes back online and ramped, ramps up again. But uh, we're so thankful for our retail partners having uh, flexibility. Right now, uh, uh, our vegetable crops are centered in uh, Florida and Georgia. Uh, we just uh, finished up uh, our South Florida region uh, on vegetables. Uh, recently and we transitioned those crops up to the Palmetto, uh, Florida, west coast of Florida, Palmetto region. It's a good time to have potatoes. Sales figures from March show that demand more than doubled. It is, it is a good time to uh, not only be in potatoes but produce the quality of potatoes that l and is known for. So quality has been excellent, sizing has been excellent, Technology is also reshaping the business model and changing the way consumers shop for groceries. Shopping patterns have changed. Uh, uh, timing of shopping has changed. There, there's senior shopping hours, there are home delivery uh, services, there's curbside pickup services. Uh, it, is a, it is a much different world this week than it, uh, than it was uh, uh, eight weeks ago, for instance. Uh, the retail produce demand is very strong. If we can keep the politics out of it and, and uh, keep the prayer, the science, and the common sense uh, involved with it, uh, I think we'll bring uh, the produce industry, the specialty crop business, at least back on uh, more of a, a level, uh, level scale. And those are words of wisdom that apply to any time, crisis or not. Reporting from home, I'm Chip Carter from SoutheastProduceWeekly.com, reporting for RFD-TV. As always, thank you for the update, Chip. Well, the l and Companies was founded back in 1964 as a broker. In 1973, the company planted its first farm and now serves customers in 48 states.